Hello Facebook friends and YouTube friends, Alicia here with a quick video. Um, I'm just going to show you, I'm not actually not going to show you the final step, but how I've been making these um, shaker cards. So, I know it's really a lot of glare on there, but it does shake. And then I made this one, and the glare is really bad because it's metallic paper, but um, this is the first one I made, not ever, but today, and um, I was actually really frustrated with it, and so it's not very good, but um, it's just for a little guy, so he won't mind. But I'm just going to show you quickly how I, I make these shaker cards, and they say happy birthday inside. So basically it's really easy, but it's quite time consuming. You have you know, all your pieces, and I have some done, and then I'll just show you how to put it together. Um, you don't need any special um, tools, per se, but a big shot or a Cricut or something where you can electronically die cut or just die cut in general will make it easier. If not, you know, go ahead and um, use a square object of two different sizes, just enough to give you a frame or a circle um, whatever you have. So these are um, done with my big shot and so all I do is I cut out this frame and to do this I have the scalp square and then the regular square. I tape them together so that everything is the same and lines up. So I cut that out and then um, what you want to do is when you have those pieces like taped together you also want to cut a foam piece um, out and then so that they line up this piece and your foam piece lines up and then of course you have your back piece and then you have acetate or whatever you choose to put in the middle I use um, transparencies like the old um, transparencies that they used to use well maybe they still use but anyways um, I have a couple boxes of them, so that is what I use. So this is it all put together, and then of course I just stamp on it in the back, and then I put whatever I want in there. So I'll quickly show you. So all you want to do is take this frame piece, take the tape off. It's kind of difficult to do on camera, so let's just quickly take it off and I've figured out that if you obviously only I only took off two sides and I figured out that it's a lot easier because then I can line it up better um, and if it hangs over go ahead and just trim it off the only thing that you need to worry about is that it um, covers this square so anything that hangs over you can trim off. I will leave it just because this is on video and then what you want to do is you want to take your foam piece same thing just take your two sides off line it up best you can. I actually kind of have some trouble with this just stuck it down on the wrong side or the wrong way so well it's still not lined up okay I'm just going to do it off camera real quick the two sides here and then I will um come right back So I got the two sides and then all you do is take the last two sides off and then you have this and then of course you know you go ahead and you put your 
sequins in, oops, and your glitter, um, and punch outs and whatever else you want. And then you can go ahead and, and just attach it like this. Um, you don't actually even have to put anything inside. It's still quite pretty, just the dimension of it. But yeah, so if you're gonna put something inside, you know, you can do this or in this one, I just did um, the paper. And like I said, I'm not very fond of this one. I like the stars, but um, the card itself is kind of, you can tell it was an experiment. Let's just put it that way. Um, but the other thing I'm going to say is when you cut your frames, whatever shape you do, try and do it a little bit wider. Like the reason I struggled with this so much was because it was so thin. And then to line it up and I tried glue and for some reason instead of tape, I don't know why, what I was thinking, but I used glue. Um, don't use glue, use tape. But make it wide enough that you can run tape here fairly easily. And you can get thinner tape than this. Um, and that will save you a lot of frustration lining things up if you can actually just um, run tape here instead of trying to glue it. And then, yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing I learned is make your frame wide enough that you can run tape and not have to fight with glue. Anyways, um... I hope that was helpful. I know it's not a very good video. I'm not really set up very well to do tutorials, but I just wanted to show anybody that wanted to see how I've been making these. Thank you for watching.